They're like, you mean to tell me that you've never done that before? I said, no, I've never, <laughs> I've never done that. Uh, Hi, Jake. It's Tara Hitchcock. Normally, about this time of year, you're in Arizona for the Waste Management Phoenix Open, which is in about a week and a half. Are you coming this year? I'm not, unfortunately. I know. I thought about that this morning. I saw a lot of my, my buddies that play on tour posting about getting ready to head to Phoenix. Just a big time movie star and you don't even come visit anymore. Uh, I know. Listen, congratulations on this. I know you've talked about the fact that this is not something you ever expected to do. And yet, if you watch your career and your music videos, in a way, you're pretty good at acting even before this role. So I feel like it would have been a natural, you know, next step. But but you didn't think you'd ever do it? I never really actively thought about it, no. Uh, but that's some of the, the, the most beautiful things about life are the things that come at you in different ways. And this definitely did. I, the opportunity presented itself. I, I jumped at it. And um, now I can look back at, at a beautiful film and a true story that I got to be a part of with some incredible A-list actors and, um, and, and be proud of it. You know, it's, it's funny. I, the first time we see your character, you're wearing a sweater that actually looks like you just got off the golf course. Was that your sweater? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was actually funny because uh, the movie you know, was obviously, it's, it's kind of filmed to be dated. So when this all happened, and uh, I remember when I went to wardrobe, I said, oh, that's a cool sweater. I get to wear that sweater. But uh, yeah, that was a nice white, white eyes on. <laughs> I know you don't get nervous often. And again, you're very good at what you do, but I cannot imagine the first day on set. And if it was the dinner scene where you're sitting there literally with the entire cast for the most part, except for Jason. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, that was a very nervous scene for me. Not only was I, um, <laughs> this is funny, not only was I sitting there with the entire cast, the others that were at the table that were also parts in the movie, uh, great actors as well. And that, these are people that like, that's what they do for a living. You know what I mean? Right. And so they were talking to me while we were off set saying things like, so, you know, where, where are you from? How long have you been acting? And this, I was like, I don't, I don't act. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna act, I'm, I'm, I sing country music. And they're like, what do you mean? And I said, I don't, I, I've just, I've never even done this before. I'm kind of nervous. And they're like, you mean to tell me that like you just in there when, when the scene that you saw in the film where I'm just, I tell them about Dane and they're like, you mean to tell me that you've never done that before? And I said, no, I've never, <laughs> I've never done that. Uh, and they said, well, you got, and that made me feel good. At least one of the ladies was really nice. She's like, well, you, you had me fooled. I would have not known you've never done this before. So that kind of gave me some confidence, but yep. I think uh, I told some others that I really went off my just intuition and kind of like I do when I play music. Once you're on stage and the lights are on and people are in the audience and it's cameras rolling, you just got to do it. You got to go yep. and you got to be confident about what you're doing. And um, so kind of let it roll. You know, this movie obviously is about friendship. And in this day and age where we've all been forced to uh, remind ourselves what matters in this world, how many friends have you kind of weeded through some of your friends just after shooting this film going, yeah, um, they don't spark joy. I can get rid of them. And then this is one that will stay. Uh, I, yeah, you know, I, I guess more or less I've thought about who the friends are that if something really goes down in your life, how many friends do you have that you could call that would quit their job and move, move to your home and live there with you and take care of you and your children and um i know that i've got quite a few friends luckily to be able to say that that would be there for me like that and uh that's the beauty of this of this film and especially in the time in our world right now where we all need that more oh totally i know they wrap me jake listen you posted i'm a pretty competitive person i know you are too you posted something recently about your father and you said my 70 year old dad can hit it farther than yours when this is all said and done, I want to figure out how to get my dad, who is 72, who golfs regularly, I all am right. convinced he could beat your dad. So I feel like, you know, all maybe right. Scottsdale National, Troon, someplace here that you like to play at, we'll kind of plan a little, uh, maybe for Father's Day, father against father. I'd put my yeah. dad against your dad. In. I'm in for that. That'd okay. be great. That'd be fun. Hey, congratulations. Hope to see you in some more films. Okay. See you. Thanks so much.